soon as I go in. How's this? This is going to be one of the greatest wildlife encounters of my entire life. Have a go at the size of these mammals. And they're coming right up. Look at this. They're looking right at me. Woo! They make me feel like a dwarf. Check this out. She's showing me. That's her baby. This is her baby. She's showing her baby a bloke in car keys. They're as thrilled about seeing me as I are of them. Her mama has brought that baby over to come and check me out. What an experience. And how's the size of the greatest mammal in our oceans? Yes! She's circling. She's happy enough with her close look. Now she's just going to circle me. They're so inquisitive. She's just checking me right out. Probably thinking to herself, what the heck is this bloke in car keys all about? Hi, sweetheart, I'm the croc hunter. Oh, they are beautiful. They're happy. I think they've had enough. And they're going to head south. South for the summer. Woohoo! How's that? I'm back. Mama and her car. What a beautiful day. Great start. Unfortunately, in times gone by, the migratory path of the humpback whale was seen as a commercial benefit. And here is the ugly place where the atrocities took place. Here's the reason why I've got to allow whales to swim with me so as I can get them into your heart, so as things like this are never seen again. Our planet is never ravaged by the horrors of commercial hunting of the most incredible marine animals in the world. What a sombre place. This place is a tombstone. A whaling station decaying back into the sand dunes and slowly leaching back out into the ocean. I find this place really disturbing, absolutely disturbing. Here we go with these. Boiling up dead whales and, you know, the whole blubber thing. And, and for what, you know, burning a few oil lamps, it just Pokes me up. I get this rock, this hardcore rock with barbs on it, stuck in my throat when I look at this stuff. And if there's one thing that Bindi and you can take away from this place, it's the importance of fighting tooth and nail for the conservation of whales. The time has come where we can't tolerate the death, the killing of the most important marine mammal in the world. So we've just um, done a quick jaunt from the beach up the coastal plain, right here onto this rocky ridge where we can get a bit of an idea of the lay of the land. Very rocky, hard ground. But the Wallaroos do it no problem at all. We've seen thousands of them. What a beautiful Wallaroo. Just having a little bit of a feed. Now the vegetation that this young one is eating doesn't look very delicious but they can even get enough moisture to satisfy all their needs just from the vegetation. They can survive without much water at all. And as the sun starts to drop, we're going to see the nocturnal wildlife. One right there, don't move. Terry, get up here. Quick, 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 quick. Just hang on a pinky. Don't move. Death at him. <laughs> Dusk is the perfect time for the nocturnal predators to enjoy the last part of the heat. You're all right, little man. I see you're angry. Trouble is you can't tail a death adder without getting struck, so I have to use a stick. You're all right, see him biting at the stick. He thinks the stick is meaning him some harm. Have a look at this. What a treasure. What an absolute score. Myself and Bindi nearly stood on it. Now that is the death adder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see him striking out at the stick. He was very angry. 
in the top 10 most venomous snake species in the entire world. This little death out of here would have enough venom to kill me, my whole family, and uh, probably another couple of families as well. Highly toxic venom. The unfortunate thing for the death out of here is, like you just saw, Bindi and I nearly stood on it. Didn't we, sweetheart? Yeah. We nearly jumped on it. Woo-hoo! Death adder, what a little ripper. Now have a look at the stripes on the body. That enables him to actually camouflage with these rocks. If I put him down on the rocks, have a look at that. Look at the way he blends perfectly in with the rocks. Now there's another attribute to the death adder that I want to show you. You see his tail tip's got a little spine on it. That's a lure. They actually caudal lure. They'll wiggle that spine tip and that'll attract their prey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Well, put him back where he wants to go. Oh, you're not going in there now. Whoa. The wildlife after dark takes on a totally different character, especially in the desert country where the heat of the day is too much for a lot of the animals. Look, there's a mummy and a baby wallaroo. Have a go at this bindi. It's a little knobtail gecko. I see you're struggling. Beautiful little knobtail. You can see why they call them knobtail geckos. Hasn't he got a cute tail? You want to hang on to him, babe? You're very gentle. You've got better fingers for it than I have. Got a really big, wide mouth so they can chomp down on their food source. They'll eat anything that they can overpower on the ground. Can I have a look at him for a sec, babe? Have a look at his tummy. Eggs, look at this. You can actually, it's a female, she's got eggs. You count the eggs, one. Yeah, and he's got little spines on his back. Oh, so I couldn't, shouldn't call it he anymore, should I? It's a female. All right, sweetheart, you wanna give her a kiss goodbye? There's a girl, we'll just let him down here. There's a girl. My daughter just loves wildlife. She's got an incredible instinct for it. Oh, look. Bindi, you can come in. It's a children's python. Have a go at this one. Shine your light right on it, babe. Look at this beautiful snake. Children's python, so it's not venomous. What a beautiful snake. Oh, don't bite me. No. Do you want to pat her? Now, Bindi, you know not to touch a snake unless I tell you it's not venomous, right? Yeah. Because even if this snake bit you, all it would do was hurt, right? Yeah. Some snakes are venomous, so children should never be encouraged to approach snakes. Shall we let her go? Okay, here she Bindi's goes. Bindi's gonna grow up to be a wildlife warrior just here like her goes. mum and dad. And she understands that wildlife belongs in the bush. A magnificent dusty red sunrise over the western coast of Australia. And I want to head to shore to try and find a rock wallaby species that has been pushed closer and closer to extinction from feral pressures. Goats eat the same food sources and foxes kill them outright. We're going to Yardi Creek, Mandu Mandu Gorge, supposed to be home of the black-footed rock wallaby. Hard to imagine a kangaroo-like species that can actually jump straight up these vertical cliff faces. And here's the competitor, the feral goat. Have a go at this one. It's all knocked up full in the tummy and having troubles running through the rocks. Just because they're feral pests doesn't mean I don't love them. What's wrong, babe? What's wrong? You know, feral animals are a real problem for Australia. Reason being, they're non-natural and they compete with the native species. You're all right, sweetheart. And this goat, I don't know, it's, it's debilitated. There's something drastically wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be able to run it down. <laughs> Not in this kind of terrain. You can see this beautiful gorge country. Have a look at it. Sensational. 
And what the goats do is they build up into incredible numbers and then they compete with the big macropod species, the wallaroos and the red kangaroos.